Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a full Too Faced makeup tutorial. So every single product that I use today is going to be Too Faced. And the main reason why I did that is because I have a few new Too Faced products and I thought, well, I might as well do a whole full theme of just Too Faced products. So the new products that I have, first off, it's this one. This one is called Shaker Pom Poms and it matches my shirt. I already used this shirt one time. I didn't like the video. I ended up like deleting it. Today I'm going to do a look with this one and then the other new product that I have is the Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Primer. The other products are the Powder Foundation which is a new one. This one is the Born This Way in the Powder Foundation Formula. And then lastly is the brush that I bought for the Powder Foundation because I wanted to try it. I wanted to see what the difference would be between using the sponge that comes inside and the brush which I guess I would just tell you right now uh, you don't need the brush <laughs> so that was a weird laugh what the heck I'm gonna start off with my sunscreen this is just a sunblock that I use all the time for underneath my makeup so sometimes I use it sometimes I don't it just depends so basically ignore ignore this part of the video skip no I'm just kidding uh, ignore this part of the video in a way like it doesn't matter about the sunblock okay this is just like a product that I sometimes use and sometimes don't then I'm gonna use the oil and this one oh dang it again I tricked you this is a beauty bakery oil I don't have a Too Faced one but I do need an oil because my skin is really dry so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this so first apply your skincare oil if you use one like I said if you have dry skin and you use one but the main main products are these two right here and so that's why like I said I decided to do a Too Faced theme since a lot of the products were already gonna be Too Faced and these skin prep stuff you guys if you watch my tutorials I use these products all the time so it just so happens that they're both Too Faced products and they work and they work underneath this foundation so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one with my beauty sponge and what I like to do is just apply it there sometimes I spray it all over my face but the majority of the time I like to apply it with the beauty sponge it really really helps with the hydration of my skin and just the way that it feels mainly the way that it feels and the way that it makes my products on top look because if you have dry skin that can really show through so it's really hard to get a good matte foundation to look good or a good full coverage foundation to look good like a matte full coverage foundation it's like it's a little tricky especially when you have dry skin like I said because they can look patchy and cakey so fast so the next product is the Hangover RX and I do want to get the other Too Faced new products they just came out with I think it's three or four new products products for the skin and I want to try those out too so this is the hangover rx I'm actually almost running out already if they have it at Ulta I'm gonna go to Ulta one of these days probably probably on the weekend uh, I'm gonna vlog <laughs> I'm gonna vlog it whenever I go to Ulta by the way thank you for the feedback on the vlogs I'm glad you guys are enjoying them I'm having a lot of fun filming them um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna check them out see if they have them at Ulta and if they do I might get the hydrating Maybe the serum or maybe the other primer. I think it's a primer that they just came out with. But yeah, so this is another hydrating, hydrating primer. And then lastly is the Prep and Prime. Not the Prep and Prime. Primed and Peachy. And I'm going to use a tiny bit of this. This formula reminds me of the Benefit Professional. And it's also a skin perfecting it's supposed to smooth or something like that i don't remember what it says on the box but it's a skin perfecting so kind of like a blurring type of primer product and i'm just gonna apply it right here on my nose now this one whenever i used it without the hangover rx it was so bad like the foundation did not look good at all and like i said i'm gonna have a review with that foundation of that foundation what am i saying i'm gonna have a review of the foundation and i'll tell you more about it like more in detail right now it's just a makeup tutorial but so then the next thing that I'm going to do is apply my concealer on my concealing area. So this one is the Born This Way in the color Nude. And I'm going to use this one on my under eyes, around my nose, and maybe just a little bit right here on my cheeks where I have a little bit of redness. And I'm going to blend this out with my beauty sponge. I don't want to leave a thick, product, a thick amount of product because I'm gonna apply the powder foundation on top. But I cannot apply the liquid on top of the foundation. I did try that the first time that I used the foundation. Like I said, I did a first impression because that was like a trial, you know? I was like, let me try and see if I can blend out the concealer on top of the powder foundation. But 
again, it was a mistake. It looked really bad. So I learned that, of course, the liquid looks way better underneath the powder foundation. But, you know, you just got to try everything and just see what works, you know? Make sure that it's really spread out. Blend out this part. It's not a highlighting concealer. It's nothing like, you know, the big triangle or like trying to highlight those areas. No, it's just regular concealing. And then I'm gonna go in with the powder foundation. And my favorite way to use the powder foundation is with the sponge. So I am gonna use the sponge. It has a fuzzy white side. It was white, <laughs> but uh, it has a fuzzy white side. And then this side is just like sponge, like the regular sponges that come with every single powder. So, or most powders. So my favorite side is the white one and that's the one that I'm gonna use today. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it everywhere. And I'm gonna do one half and I'll show you how it looks. I know this is not the review, but just to show you real quick in case you're curious about it right now. Then I also realized that the sponge gives me a way fuller coverage. Fuller even coverage. Not to say that it's a full coverage foundation because it's not, but it does give me a better coverage than the brushed the brush, I would say, I'm giving you the review almost, but the brush, I would say um, it is a light to medium. And then with the sponge, I say it's just like a medium coverage. There you go. You can see the difference. It is a big difference. This side, you can see a little bit of my redness still. It did give me good coverage. It is pretty matte. Throughout the day though, it works better with my skin. I would say like maybe in about 30 minutes, it'll blend into my skin a little bit better. So yeah, just to show you one half so that way you can see the difference. Next, I'm gonna use my bronzer and today I'm gonna use this one from the Tutti Frutti line. This one's called Pineapple Sun and I'm gonna use the bronzer on this side. I'm gonna take my big bronzer brush This one's a really pretty glowy bronzer. I just have to be careful because my brush is pretty fat. And the pan, it's like half and half. Half bronzer, half highlighter. So I'm gonna apply this all around my forehead. Okay, so for blush today, I'm gonna use the peachy one this one right here in the corner and it does have a little bit of glitter in it a little bit of shimmer i'm just gonna take a little bit with this fluffy brush that doesn't apply too much product this is a peachy orangey blush looks really pretty look i'm trying not to apply too much with this brush because it's very fluffy so it doesn't pick up that much product and still i have like a bunch so I'm gonna take my powder brush and just go over the blush real quick, just to blend it out a little bit better. And then for highlights, I'm gonna use, oh, I said I was gonna mix these two because this one I used it the other day and it was a little bit shadowy on me. It's really pretty. Whenever I bought it last summer, it matched me really good. Like it was a good glowy one, but now, right now, I guess last summer I was a little bit more tanned and right now I just feel like it's too shadowy. So I'm gonna take my Anastasia brush and first I'm gonna apply this one which is a pinky highlight and I'm gonna take the gold one from here. I don't really like too much pink but like I said I don't want the bronzy one because it's too shadowy so mixing those is like perfect. I'm gonna apply it right here on my brow bone and then with whatever is left on the brush I'm gonna apply this on my forehead. And now I'm going to get started with the eyes and like I said, I'm going to use this one by Too Faced the Shaker Pom Poms. It's a mini one. I'll show you the other two in... I'll show you the other two right now. Just in case you have these and you want to see the difference between them. Of course, the outside packaging is way different. This one looks a lot more summery, but the inside, it is like a similar combination. So this one is the sugar cookie. This one has a little bit more cool tones, but it is still neutral. Cool neutral tones, light brown, dark brown, but on the neutral side, the purple, and a pop of pink. And then this one also has a pop of pink, but it also has the green in there. And these are way warmer. So here's the difference between these two. And then this one I would say is a little bit more similar. Oh, I just stuck my nail in there. Um, in the rest of the colors besides the green, this one has the palm one, 
has green and then the peach one has purple but it's it's very very similar like they're really alike and this green one I feel like you can get that one from like the if you have the chocolate gold palette that one has green in there and I believe the pumpkin spice or what's it called the gingerbread gingerbread palette I think the gingerbread palette also has green in there and they just came like Christmas in July so they brought it back in stock that one is such a great palette you guys if you want to get the gingerbread palette from Too Faced out of a lot of the things that I got during the holiday stuff like the holiday edition type things the gingerbread palette from Too Faced was one of my favorites and also some of the lipsticks and I always use the melted like pumpkin something lipstick you guys if you're interested in that it is back in stock right now I don't know if it's at Ulta or Sephora but I did see it on Too Faced's Instagram so check the Too Faced website it might be there I'll link it below if it's already up by the time I put up this video so anyways back to this I'm gonna go ahead and oh you know what I completely forgot to use this one you guys <laughs> great but I will show it to you in the review which like I said I am filming after this I'll talk a little bit more about this so the first color that I'm gonna use is this one actually because I know this light brown looks light but it does show up big time so I'm gonna start with that one first it is the lightest matte in this palette and I'm gonna apply this right here in the crease I forgot to blend out my primer again but that's okay I'm wearing the Too Faced um, concealer as my eyeshadow primer and I'm just gonna apply this right here in the crease all the way to the inner corner from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner and I'm just gonna blend side to side I'm gonna do the same look or no the same almost the same color combination as I did the first time that I used this palette the video that I said I didn't like but I did like the eye combination I think I, I don't know I just felt kind of rushed and I didn't want to upload the video I just didn't like it then I'm gonna take the darker brown and I'm actually gonna use this one first and another packing on brush this is the MAC 217 and I'm gonna concentrate this one on the outer corner just to start building up the brown I'm gonna take the dark brown right here and concentrate this one on the very outer corner of the eye and just kind of blend it towards the inside I feel like I want to pack that on a little bit more so I'm going to take my packing on brush and just focus this one on the outer part. So next I'm going to use a synthetic brush and I'm going to use the green one. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this one all over the eyelid from the inner corner towards the, like almost a little bit more than halfway because I don't want to go over that dark brown but I do want the two colors to blend in together. And then I'm going to take the dark brown again on a packing on brush and go over that and blend those two colors together just like that and I did get fallout from the green just so you know so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off now I'm gonna take a small pointy brush or a small little blending brush just like this and I'm gonna take the light brown first and apply this on my lower lash line then I'm gonna take a flat shadow brush and use the dark brown and get really close to my waterline so I only have a brown eyeliner and this one's by Benefit. So I'm going to use this one. It's the Bad Gal Bang 24 hour pencil. Sorry again. I thought I had everything Too Faced and I forgot about like eyeliner stuff. Um, but either way, I'm not going to use liquid eyeliner. But I'm going to go ahead and apply this one. Like I said, it is just a brown. And then for falsies today, I'm going to use these by House of Lashes. These are in the style Allura Light. And I'm going to use it with clear glue. I'm not wearing any liquid eyeliner today, so clear glue is what's going to look best. Okay, on the inner corner of my eyes and my brow bone. On my brow bone, I kind of put a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and maybe apply a little bit more of the highlight. Uh, but first, I'm going to do my inner corner. So I'm going to take this one from the Sugar Peach, Sugar Peach palette and apply this one right here in the inner corner. I'm not going to mix it with the one in the bronzer because for the inner corner this is fine I'm just gonna apply this on the inner corner of both so there you go and then just a tiny bit right here on the high point of the brow bone okay and then for lipstick I'm gonna use this one and I think this is one of the ones that came back I'm not sure but if so like I said I'll link it below this one's called hot buttered rum and it's one of the 
holiday collection lipsticks. It's a really pretty nude brown. I'm gonna wait for this to dry because it does dry down matte and they're not dry and they're also not super long lasting. If you eat, it will start fading off. Not once you start drinking water or whatever, like they won't last that long, but they're not like those thick liquid lipsticks that look like they're breaking apart or just, you know, that look kind of weird. No, these are not like that. As far as the ones that I have tried, they're very thin and they look really matte. So they do look nice, but like I said, they're not super extra long lasting or anything. Okay, so this is the complete look using as many Too Faced products as I possibly could and as I had, because like I said, I didn't have the <laughs> waterline pencil or the sunblock, you know, but those were just like the skincare stuff. But either way, I did my best and I shouldn't have said that at the beginning because I really thought I had everything, but it doesn't matter, it's okay. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's talk through tutorial using a bunch of different Too Faced products. And I really do like this little palette. I will try my best to do eye swatches this week, but if not, they will be up next week. So that way you can see every single shade uh, i do like it i do feel like it is a plain neutral tone palette okay nothing necessary the outside packaging is cute but don't let that fool you because like i said on the inside it's not super super extra summery it's just neutral tones with a little bit of green and then like i said as far as the foundation i will have a full review i'll show you different application methods and tell you a little bit more about it and what i think and just how i felt like it worked the best for me which like i said you already saw some of the skincare products but i'll also show you what didn't work out and you know just kind of explain to you what i think would work best for a powder foundation and what i think won't and just think like that like extra details on the foundation so anyways like i said i hope you enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye